Hey everybody, Joe here. I'm back again. It's been a while since I've done a pickups video, so why not? Got a pretty good haul in front of me here. I thought it was good even before talking to my mom this morning, but hey, big surprise. Let's uh, get into this. Okay, um, last week on eBay I found a lot of uh, 10 uh, Super Nintendo games for 40 bucks. Four bucks a game. You know, you can't really go wrong there even if there's filler. So, let's uh, check out this stack of uh, Super Nintendo games right here. Got a uh, Kendo Rage. That's uh, kind of going up in value. Uh, Price Charters has it for 16 right now. Tasmania. Mortal Kombat 2. You know, kind of a must own for the Super Nintendo if you're into fighting games. Demolition Man. I used to love this movie when I was a kid. Well, not really a kid. I was in high school when that was. Um, like I said, Game Lots bound to have filler, and here's a great example of filler. Madden, the original Madden. <laughs> Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Eye of the Beholder. Um, never heard of this, not familiar with this. Price Charter says it's about eight bucks, so hey, might not be bad. I have the Genesis version of this one. Spider-Man and X-Men uh, in Arcade's Revenge. Uh, Sim City, actually another game I want. Label's a little, uh, not too happy looking, but still, the game just, you know, plays, that's what's important. Alright, um, Page Master, uh, I think it was Peanut Butter Gamer just did a review of this one recently. And Miss Pac-Man, another one with the uh, label's not too happy looking, but hey, can't go wrong with a copy of Miss Pac-Man. I think I've got, like, about, like, you know, one on almost every system that I own. Just about. And then, uh, and then, uh, just, uh, yesterday at work, uh, one of my coworkers, uh, gave me, a uh, nine empty Game Boy cases. You know, these little clamshells. I'm kind of OCD about having these things, and I have a couple games that didn't have one. I'm holding seven right here because I've purposed two of them. But, yeah, I've got nine. Seven more empties out of nine. Keep them up here for now. Gives me an excuse to buy more Game Boy games. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, now let's get into the NES lot that I purchased recently. Purchased uh, not eight games. Came to twenty-two bucks. I'm rounding up, but yeah, twenty-two bucks, eight games. Again, not too bad, especially with what you got here. Uh, one bit of filler. John Elway's quarterback. Then we have Iron Tank from SNK. Rambo. You know, Karate Kid. Yes, not one, but two games that uh, the nerd recovered. Uh, Cobra Command. Uh, one, uh... A, a game uh, Genesis Moss just covered recently, uh, George Foreman's KO Boxing. Dragon Power, if you're not familiar, uh, this is just uh, kind of like a reskinned uh, version of the original Famicom uh, Dragon Ball Z game. And the only real reason I really wanted this lot, I have to embarrassingly say, is had uh, the original Strider. A game that was a favorite of mine from my childhood. But then again, Eight, a lot of eight games, 22 bucks. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now on to the real business. And this mor um, this morning, like I was saying earlier, I was talking to my mom and uh, she was like, oh, I was at a thrift shop and uh, they had all the toys and stuff marked down to half price. Okay, go on. And uh, I didn't know if you had one of these, so I'm gonna, so I bought it. Um, she got a, uh, Game Boy Advance SP and a AGS 101 model for three dollars at a frickin' thrift shop. And it has, and it did have a game cartridge in it, uh, Need for Speed, uh, 
Porsche Unleashed, which, according to price charters, is worth like about almost four bucks. So, yeah, she got the system for less than what the game stuck in it's worth. And then, you know, the thrift shop apparently not knowing what they had. You know, not knowing if it even worked or anything like that. Actually, yes, it does. I've been charging it up. It did have the charger. Even better. My mom was like, and if there are any Game Boy games around. And they did have one. Copy of Pokemon Pinball. Still sealed in the box. I'm not a sealed collector, but hey, I'm not, a po I'm not a Pokemon fan either, but this is officially the first sealed in box retro thing I've ever owned. Kind of cool. Let's just go down the list of what I bought. NES lot paid 22 bucks. Super Nintendo lot paid 40 bucks. Three bucks for the Game Boy Advance. One dollar for Pokemon Pinball. And let's just say I paid nothing for uh, Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. But that's pretty impressive haul. Uh, let me know what you think. You can leave a comment. Hope you've enjoyed watching this. Any feedback's good feedback, so feel free to leave some. Also, uh, I just want to add, any time a game comes into my collection, it gets photographed, and the photographs are all up on my Facebook page. That's uh, facebook.com slash Retro. This puts me just over 125 for the NES games. I hope you've enjoyed. I've got a game review coming up real soon. Hope to see you there. Take care.